What's up, guys? Tiny Peanut here, and we are back in the Adventures of Kona. So, the full game actually released uh, about a week ago. Uh, I haven't really had time to play, but now we do. And we are back. I haven't actually looked at the patch notes or anything, so I'm not really sure what's changed. I guess we will just go back and see what we can find. See if there's any major changes and whatnot. No. Nope. No. No. So I know the first thing that I want to check is... Uh, I want to go back to the medical place and see if we can get past that barrier that was there at the time. Okay. All right, so we need to find a key. Oh, I wish I could pick that up and smash the window. That'd have been pretty cool. Seem to be anything in there. Looks like the fire is going. Oh, there's a guy! Holy shit! It's gonna be the first living person we meet. I feel like there should be an achievement unlocked for this. Oh, mother of God! What the fuck is wrong with you? Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retentisse par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout-là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt, et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> you crazy son of a bitch, you almost killed me! I don't even know what the fuck you just said! Okay, sir, I'm gonna need you to put that. Give me that gun. I'm just, can, can you not point the gun at me? I'm just gonna check your shit. Mon beau bonnet du beau temps. Puis ma ceinture, où ce que je glissais mon flasque. Le monde tournait plus rond quand on s'habillait à tout de même. C'est encore beau. Tout ce qui est vieilli est bien meilleur. <laughs> Why do you still have your gun pointed at me? Hey, la Corivo, Batesh, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. A tuer tous ces maris, squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. I will fucking beat you with this flashlight, old man. I will beat your ass with this flashlight. Ew. Oh, God. Why? Ah, oh, you're disgusting. Dans mon temps, c'était comme sur l'image. On était vrai, fier, fort, puis on avait le bon lieu de notre bord. Ah, oh, la belle pétarade. 
En 17 que c'était. Et le gazeux, il se souvient de moi avec ma belle carabine. Bang, bang, que je lui disais. Bang, bang, bang. Ah, oh, le bon temps. You're fucking crazy. I'll be back. Don't shoot at me again. So like, what's supposed to be in here? You got damn right. So we need to get a caribou, which is gonna suck because I don't have any weapons anymore, I don't think. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh god. Fuck. You guys scared the shit out of me. Oh no 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 no. Why? Why is this thing? I already took a picture. Yep. Keep out. Danger, danger. Shit. Oh gosh. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It seeped oh, into no. bones and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. Carl, Carl needed, needed to be dressed dress. in warm clothes to survive. Yeah, that's a good idea. To the Patriot. Hello. Oh God. Let me just get a fire first, okay? The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Yes. Uh huh. All right. Broken glass everywhere. Something happened. Yeah. I'm a very good uh, detective, by the way. Okay. Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Devil music. It ain't Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. You pig. Ew. Don't even want to know. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. 
Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. Interesting. Oh, is there actually caribou in there? Oh shit. Does that mean I can trade it to that old man? Ah. A little target practice. Jesus Christ, at least we know we can't shoot. With a homemade shooting range such as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. Carl felt that it was mission accomplished with the wicked nectar in his hands. It's too cool out there. So let's just double check everything around here and then we'll head back to the to the old man. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Check this truck though. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Oh, quand on cherche, on trouve. Parce que je t'aime bien, Aster, va te dire quelque chose. Yes. De prendre ma pénis. Parce que par là-bas, tu vas rencontrer le vrai froid. <laughs> gimme gimme. Nice. Oh shit, and shoes? Shouldn't have. Now give me the gun. I, I need I need this. No, you don't no. Later now. Be fucking shooting people. Dang it. There we go. Luckily, he had the coat to protect him from the biting cold. Haha, -ha, prepare. Oh, what? What? It's magical, doesn't it? Something made a noise. Oh, mother of God. Fuck me. Hey. A hammer? I don't care about your hammer. Where's my flashlight?
Oh, yes. Oh, mother of God. Flashlight is used to see, but, you know, there's a fucking beast down here. Wait. No. No, I'm done. He j <sighs> just went through the fucking ground. Build a bridge? I'm a boss. Why? Another instance of this magic ice. What was this one doing? Lying on the ground, so afraid. The plot thickened like water into ice. So, I, so afraid, I don't know, maybe the fucking wolf that goes through the ground? A sudden cold snap struck Carl, who felt like he was pulled into a dream. Oh, no. oh god. He Why? had been running in fear from something creeping towards him against which he couldn't do anything, only to end up like this, petrified and cold. this? Shit. Oh, he has a gun. Oh. oh, I hope I find a gun. Turn on. Oh! Yo. Holy shit! Is this guy crazy? What the hell is going on right now? It seemed as though Regin had been ready to take up arms and slay people like Hamilton. Could he have committed murder for his cause? Who could have gotten killed in front of his very eyes? Made some modifications. Yes, he had. This is. Wait, what? Dynamite and duct tape. All I need. Oh. Get a little fire going there, right there. Smuggled booze. I'm down.
please. The Enfield? Oh, you're goddamn right. What's that? I mean, you know. Oh! Alright. This is actually pretty crazy. Likes this, yes. Oh my god. What the hell is going on with this guy's aiming? Holy shit. Alright. Well, I'm glad. We can get out of this friggin' cave, cause that was, uh, something else, right? Ice seemed to take over this place like mold. That wall wasn't there earlier. How was he going to get out of here? I have an idea. Oddly, did not budge despite the powerful fiery blast. Something was definitely rotten in this place. Is this a joke? I gotta blow up from the other end. Guaranteed. suddenly felt observed. He was worried about a presence around him. Mm-mm. Not today. Observe me, motherfucker. Yeah. Cash me outside. How about that? I was ready. All right, so I'm a suit. Yep. Yeah. Oh God! Why is this? That's extremely big. That's what she said. No stone can withstand the force of dynamite. Yeah. How you like me now? Oh, oh, oh. You. Do not walk off. I have no idea where we're to right now. This is ridiculous.